away and hid from the west of uh, from the rest of the field. <laughs> Say that Elmer Fudd, right? From the rest of the field in the National League West in 1984, and it's beginning to look that way again this year. The only thing new about San Diego's play this year is their uniforms. Sunday's 7-2 thrashing of Philadelphia marked the Pod's seventh straight win, and now they lead the pack by four and a half games. Battle of Cy Young Award winners, Lamar Hoyt won it with the White Sox 83. Steve Carlton pitching for the Phillies, won it three times, but he's not going to win it this year. I mean, look why. Boom! Bruce Bochy, are you kidding? That's right. The Padres catch it with the home run, ties it at one in the fifth inning. Still in the top of the fifth, Templeton on second. Jerry Royster goes the other way. It's in the right field, and Templeton will score easily. Two to one, Pod. Kevin McReynolds comes through following a sack fly with a base hit scoring Tony Gwynn. It's four to one after four and a half. Padres do it with defense, too. Now, Juan Samuel gets to the goose right here. Drive to the center field wall, but watch McReynolds play it on one hop. The relay to Templeton. He will turn to throw to Bochy and watch Bruce bo uh, block the plate. Glenn Wilson, see you later. He's out of there. Nice job all the way around by San Diego. And then, boom, not a bad job in the top of the ninth when Kevin McReynolds adds a three-run homer. It's called insurance. And the Padres go on to roll the Philadelphia Phillies 7-2. That was McReynolds' uh, sixth homer of the year. Hoyt gets the win to even his mark at 4-4. Four four. Steve Carlton, Memorial Day weekend, one and four. Time out. So 5.43 left, and the Blast will pull their goalkeeper now for the extra attacker. This is the way they did it in game one with about six minutes left, and they scored twice. Five minutes. Five minutes. Maybe we can listen in on Kenny Cooper. Our cameraman is away, and the crowd here as the wave continues to go around the sports arena. Again, stay with us for our post-game show, an expanded edition. If the Sockers win, we'll have the presentation of the championship trophy, the league MVP award, and I would say either Steve Jungle, Bronco Segoda, Gene Willis, Brian Quinn, or Jim Gorsuch have a shot at it. And now here come the Blacks. Sockers have Sagota, Quinn, Pro, Catacolitas, and Cobillo on the field. Semenkovic walks it to the halfway line. Pass to his right for work. Back to Semenkovic. Lines up for a shot, and that glance is wide. Finds works after the rebound. He'll clear it, and Catacolitas gets it to Quinn. Quinn at midfield with Sagota. Quinn across the red line. Still with it to Catacolitas. George in the corner, and they don't need to rush things at all. They can just draw the blast out of the zone. And Cavillo will play it back for Gorsuch and just kill off second. Has a man to beat, and then Semenkovic, he shoots, and it's blocked by Wirtz. The rebound goes to the corner. Broncos still after it, and he comes out with it. Here's Quinn, along the boards with Fink, and Quinn is foul. Ron Newman and Johan Arneo have done a great job molding this talent-endowed team. And what a changeover from last season when we saw the V's and the Donnelly and the Weezer top sheet. And now a new breed and more success. And a lot of that credit must go to Newman and Arneo who have worked with these players all year long. Here's Stamankovic up to the red line. Right side for Chinapu. Winds up into the box and kicked out by Schmetzer. Schmetzer after it again as Fink takes a shot and that's a foul San Diego. McWilliams in the box. Stankovic outside. Here's Chinapu with drive. That just missed high. Rebound comes back into midfield. Stamankovic plays it to his right for Boyano. Back for Stamankovic. The Baltimore net is empty. Stamankovic in on Wilrich. Plays it to his left for Chinapu. The shot and Korsak will save. They break up the, across the red line. Quinn down the left side. He shoots and Chinapu saves it. Nandar after the loose ball. Gets to it. In the corner. In front is Quinn. And it's tackled away by Prakazi. Schmetzer with it. To Nandar. To Quinn. Semenkovic with a save. Back to Joey Fink. And the blasts are still alive. 35 left. Across the red line. Plays it to Fink. His shot wide. And it comes to Segoda. Franco lost it to work. Blast still pressuring. Fink goes to the corner with Crow. 
Here's McWilliams trying to set it up. Back to the left point side for Pukazi. To Stamankovic in the middle. Segura watching him. The curling shot. The header and Gorsic kicks it loose again. Quinn trying to clear it. Gives it to Pukazi. 221 left. They're giving Baltimore plenty of chances. Here's Stankovic. And he kicks it out of play. A minute 25. And Stamankovic walks across the line. To Chinapu. The shot blocked by Katakalidis. Rebound off the wall. Gorsic's got it. McWilliams tried to kick it in, but it won't count. A minute left, and the Sockers lead 5-3. Hanged it up, push it deep for Fink. Off the wall in front for McWilliams and cleared out again. Stamankovic with 40 seconds left in his season, perhaps. To work. Kicked out again by Crow. Now Jungle and Stamankovic collide. The Magician comes up with the ball, but Clavillo will clear it downfield. Jungle trips over Pukazi in midfield. 20 seconds left in the soccer season. Hines works with the ball, reminiscent of two years ago when the Baltimore Blacks were also defeated here. Quinn to midfield. A shot, and it's wide off the glass. Five seconds to go. have won their fourth straight indoor championship and pandemonium reigns on the field. The final score on our video library scoreboard 5-3 Sockers stay where you are a massive celebration is breaking out here in San Diego as the Sockers win it all once again. National League pictures in Philadelphia, the Padres were on parade. Smiles in Philadelphia have been few and far between so far, and spirits didn't improve much after the Phillies lost three out of four to Western Division leading San Diego, whose dazzling defense committed just 22 errors in 38 games, fewest in the league. Now look around our infield. We got uh, solid people all the way around. Nettles is, is never going to wear out. You know, he's just playing better all the time. Garvey's having another great year. And we're solid up the middle, and uh, our outfield is just coming along every day. So is Andy Hawkins, who posted impressive numbers against the Phillies, going all the way for a four-to-one win, dropping his ERA to 2.60 and raising his record to a spotless nine and nothing. That made him the first National Leaguer to win nine games this year. And Hawkins had never won more than eight in an entire season. Andy uh, has always had good equipment. And it was a question of him getting the confidence uh, to use it and, and to come after the hitters. Uh, I've always said that uh, uh, I want him to challenge the hitters more. I've seen him pitch since he was in the minor leagues, and he's always had great stuff in the minor leagues. And when he got to the big leagues, it was like he wasn't really sure of himself. He didn't know if he wanted to be a power pitcher or a finesse pitcher. And now he's found a happy medium in between, and he just goes out there and goes as, as long as he can because he knows he's got people in the bullpen who can finish it off for him. You're not going to go out there and just blow people away because you're better. you got to be confident. you got to know you're going to win, and things are going to happen right for you. And I, I feel like when I'm out there, I'm, I'm just going to win a ball game. You know? I'm not going to every time, but um, that's the way I approach it. Dave Drabecki has also had the right approach. Against the Phillies, he went seven and a third innings to win his fourth straight. Busting out from the bullpen has been Goose Gossage, who still has opponents groping for cover from his blazing heat. Goose has proved that, that he can still pitch. He's, he's throwing as hard as he ever has. You can ask some of the other hitters in the league. And right now, he's just, uh, the last four or five times out, he's been, he's been as good as I've ever seen him. So Goose is no question mark in my mind. And no question that Goose's numbers are nifty. Second in the league with 13 saves and 13 chances. His ERA, below two. Yes, indeed, the goose is loose.